Hey everybody, so I am here today to put in my um, version of the uh, Roses for Wheaton looks. Um, for those of you who don't know, Wheaton Beauty, who has an amazing channel, and she you definitely need to check her out. Um, her birthday is this month, and she, in one of her videos, asked us... Um, to do a rose, a rosy look, um, for her birthday, so this is mine, um, so happy birthday, Wheaton, and I'll go ahead and get started. Um, now a few things in here are not cruelty free, you guys know that I am using up a few things, so there's a couple things in here that aren't cruelty free, but the bulk of it is, um, and if I recall correctly, nothing that is not cruelty free um, is something that's not easily dupable. So, um, so uh, primer is Prime Time from Bare Minerals. My foundation is the Josie Marin Argan Matchmaker Serum Foundation, and I have that in light medium, so I'm wearing that today. And then I um, put a little hydrating mineral veil from Bare Minerals. And then on top of that, um, I did put on the um, Bare Minerals Ready Bronzer in the Skinny Dip, but I don't have that in here with me. Sorry. Um, then um, just for a teeny tiny touch more coverage, not that it really needed it, but I wanted to see how it worked out, I put a little bit of the Argan Matchmaker Powder Foundation, also in light medium, on top. So that's in here. For blush, I'm using the Josie Marin Coconut Watercolor Cheek Jelly in Poppy Paradise. And then, um, for my eye primer, um, Pop Beauty Eye Magnet in number one. And then I put Elf from the Evil Queen palette, I think it's, yeah, in Vanity. So I put that just to set everything and make sure there wasn't any um, anything going to move around. And then when I got to the actual eye colors, um, I pulled out my Tarte Carried Away. Now, I'm not a person that does rosies and I don't have a lot of pink and I don't get in the mood for pink that much. So um, I'm kind of in this warm kick right now and I'm actually, you can't see these, but I'm wearing a pair of olive green blue, you know, jeans. So, um, I got to thinking, you know, roses aren't always pink. Um, I have seen beautiful coral roses. I have seen beautiful burgundy roses. And of course the stems are green. So I used that kind of as my inspiration. And I do remember Oksana did like a green and gold. So I was like, I'm in good company. So, the first thing that I did, I took, da, 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 what did I do first? You know that sucks when you can't remember anything anymore. Oh yes, I remember now. This is Coral Reef. I put that on the lid, and then I put Olive Grove in the crease, in the outer V. I took Cargo Shanghai, which is this gorgeous kind of a burgundy color. So that's in the outer V. Um, I blended it out because I didn't want it, obviously, to show, bam, burgundy. I, w I wanted it to go together. And then I blended out in the transition area. I didn't use a highlight today. Um, in the transition area, I blended out. I used Warmth from the It Cosmetics as I stick my finger in another color, but uh, from the It Cosmetics Matte Palette. And then for eyeliner, I used my Sonia Kashuk Lay It On The Line Palette. And I did brown on the top and green on the bottom. And these actually do come up darker than you might think, because that's the green. And you can see the green right there. So they do come up darker than they appear, and I just used them dry. I haven't used them wet yet. Um, my mascara is the e.l.f. Mineral Infused. And then on my lips, I'm using Tarte Exposed 
And that's a matte lip surgeons. And then I put a little bit of NYX Butter Gloss. There I go dropping things again. And Apple Strudel. So, this is my look for the day. So, this is for you, Wheaton. I hope you had a great birthday or have a great birthday because we don't know exactly when your birthday is. But I hope you I hope it's great. You guys have a great day.